on her one woman show. So, are we ready with the music? Are we ready in the audience? Woo! I'm Vicky Spuffle. I've taught Thames Valley police drivers how to drive. I've taught army tank drivers how to drive. I've taught Michael Flatley how to a three point turn. I could say, I know what I'm talking about. But you know why you're all here, don't you? It's because you killed children. <laughs> well, you would have done if they'd stepped out in front of your car. Sarah, 45 and a 40. Michael, 65 and a 50. Graham, reversing at 100 miles per hour for a school playground. <laughs> you disgust me. <laughs> Good car control though. <laughs> What's the problem with speeding? I hear you say. Well, the problem with speeding, Graham, is it affects how quickly we react. You think you've got good reaction times, Graham? Let's be having you. Up you come. Round of applause, Graham. Come on, 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 Graham. I'm going to do a very simple exercise with you. I'm going to drop a pencil and you're going to see if you can catch it. It's all about your reaction times, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again, okay? A little bit slower. I'm going to drop the pencil and you're going to see if you can catch it, okay? <laughs> try looking in the right direction, Graham. If you can go a bit slower, you might have seen that other pencil. <laughs> one more time, Graham, one more time. Pile up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> right, now let's talk about what might happen on a night out. You do a bit of weed, coke, poppers. None of my business, Michael. I don't mean to pry. But let's talk about why taking drugs and driving is dangerous. So, Michael here, he's been token on the ganja, driving about 40 miles per hour down a country lane. Suddenly, you feel a bit peckish, won't you, Michael? You reach out for the passenger seat, you grab a sandwich, BAM! Didn't see that, did you? There's a flamingo in the road. <laughs> Worst thing is, Michael's a vegetarian and he likes pink. None of my business, Michael. I don't mean to pry. <laughs> right, now let's go for a little reconstruction of what being in a car crash might actually be like. Sarah, you look like a car crash. Up you come. <laughs> So Sarah, picture of a scene. You're off to Legoland and it's 2008. Obama's just been elected, the world is full of hope, and Duffy's just reached number one with the hit single Mercy. Okay? So you've got your husband in the back, your daughter in the front. Don't ask me why, that's just how it was. So pop your hands on the steering wheel, Sarah. Yeah, pop it into gear, Sarah. Yeah, all right, okay, Sarah. You're driving along, you're driving along. And suddenly you think, I feel a bit hungry. I fancy a sugary snack. So here's your Percy Pigs. You grab them from your door hands. I hold them to Percy Pigs with their eyes on the road. their eyes on the road. I'm a little bit bored. I fancy a read of a take break magazine. So here's your take break magazine. I've got with that. Oh, well, what's that? It's Duffy, your favourite. He's coming out of the club. Riding hard the success of mercy. Enough of that. Throw that out the window. Not the Percy Pigs, Sarah! Eyes on the road, Sarah. Eyes on the road. And suddenly you think, I'm a bit thirsty. I reach into the glove compartment and grab that bottle of white lightning. So reach into the glove compartment, Sarah. Eyes off the road for this one, darling. Eyes off the road. Reach into the glove compartment. What's that in the distance? Looks like a Percy pig. It's not a Percy pig, is it? It's a flamingo. You swerve. Tarmac sky, tarmac sky. Pink wind dodge his head in your lap. Tarmac sky. I'm sorry, Sophie. <laughs> Sit down, Sarah. You're a monster. <laughs> 